All right. Fishing for rough fish and catfish here this evening. Got night crawlers on poles to either side of me. And uh, a piece of bacon cheddar bratwurst on this pole. This is the heavier one. Oh, wow, what did I catch there? Pike or something on it? That was a really slender fish. I don't have a net with me because I lost my big net, but hopefully this guy doesn't cut me off. It's just a 15 pound test. He looked, could be mid 30s. That was really neat. What is this? Now I gotta know. I gotta know what I caught here. Seems like the roughfish action isn't very good. Been here an hour and had one other hit. It's like loaded with game fish or something. Yeah, I think this is a pike or a tiger, I'm guessing. Looked like it. Oh yeah, nice northern. Wow, what a surprise. Don't cut me off, baby. Big old northern. Not that big, but you know, low mid 30s probably. Awesome. On <laughs> a piece of bratwurst. How weird is that? It was all hung up in a tree there. This is one of the night crawler rods. Might be a bass. Yeah, a little smally. Stacked with game fish instead of rough fish weird you know all depends on the time of year and how far out that current break is a little maybe pushing 15 inch smally 14 and a half or so all right another little bass I had to leave that last spot before it closed closed for the night so came over to this island here I got cheddar bacon bratwurst on this pole which is kind of like along that current break there and just a night crawler on this one. Another small bass. That pike was 33 and a quarter, and that last smallie was just a hair under 15. This one's probably 13 and a half. Yep. Something hitting the night crawler. Just gotta take it around the sausage here or try to might have crossed the line shoot could be a walleye could be a bullhead or a cat no depth perception <laughs> oh man yeah walleye cool yeah, I just started Putting them both together, fishing the night crawler on the current break. 16 inch walleye or 16 and a half maybe. Yep. Same river, new spot. Got a night crawler and a mushroom Swiss bratwurst on this current break here. This might be a sucker. It was playing with it kind of like suckers usually do. We'll see though. This is the Nightcrawler rig. Usually instead of tugging on it, the line goes slack when suckers take it, but we'll see here. Is staying down. <laughs> it's not tiny. Feisty guy. Oh, it's a. I think it's a cat. Sweet. That's what I was looking for. Real small one though. It's not the 40 pounder I want. <laughs> yeah, little channel cat. 
probably 16, 17 inches. Yep, got another one. Not a big one. Little cat stacked up on the current brake. I figured it would be a timing thing. Sometimes it, I don't know, from what I remember in the past, they move up in schools through all these, um, these sloughs here. You just push up and you'll get like, I don't know, three between five and 12 pounds and, you know, or at least hook into them. That's why I remember. Don't remember them being little like this, but hey, it's better than nothing. Pretty fast action. Every five minutes or so, five or ten, another little guy. Funny. Stacked up pretty good in there. Oh, it's a walleye. Cool. Yeah, another small walleye. Maybe 14 and a half or 14. Oh yeah, that feels a little better. This is a night crawler rig too. Just sitting in the uh, the slack water here, it's just straight out. No current. Not very big, but a little better. What the heck is it? Oh, it's a better walleye, wow. That's surprising. Just sitting in the muddy, swampy slack water there. Oops. Not a, not a big one, but, you know, best one of the night. Solid, probably around 19. And those fish are pretty well stacked in that current there. I had this pull out of the water for a bit because I was rebaiting it when that, that fish hit, but just put it back in for another three minutes or so and another fish on. Man, it must be stacked pretty heavy to be hitting that fast. Running low on night crawlers, though, is the unfortunate part. I only have a few left. And another little cat. Get a hold of them here. Yeah, small guy. I'm down here, uh, catfish fishing still at a new pool, and I'm just, I just casted out a Berkeley Gulp Helgramite on a, just a hook, and a bluegill took it. A bluegill took it. In probably three seconds. Strange, eh? Threw on a night crawler and started dragging it through and got another little bluegill. Tons of little gills stacked in this pool, all hitting at night, you know, just dragging the night crawler again. Took hours, but I finally got a cat once I switched to bluegill cut bait. Those sausages weren't working. I had a feeling there were catfish in here. up in the lines 
I got two lines out with cut bait. He was running into some rocks and junk, so it might be a little abraded. Decent catfish. Yeah, probably a 25 inch channel cat. Not very big, but I fished for him forever to get them. I had the sausages soaking for hours and they just wouldn't work. And I finally switched to just a whole side of a bluegill and it, he, it got him. All tangled up, but another one on the bluegill cut bait. Probably a 21 or right around there. One feels a little heavier, a little bit. Funny, I thought I was tangled up with my own line on that last fish. It turns out it was just some line in the, on the bottom, <laughs> someone else's, that they lost. Yeah. It's funny, I was sitting on top of all these catfish all along, those stupid sausages just weren't doing their job. See him right there, he's really dogging it. Really squiggly one. <laughs> it's raining now. I might have to catch another bluegill. I don't know how many are in here. Quite a few, more than usual. Oh man. This would have been a good night to bring my net. Even the small one would have helped. I didn't really think about this. He's not big, but he's a little better. Barely. I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining now. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Probably 25, 26. 